Hello, boys and girls. We're back here at math class, and of course, we're going to start off with the exit ticket from yesterday. Uh, hopefully, you had a lot of success yesterday, so we can have um, success today doing this. So, you got five minutes. You're on the clock. Uh, do these as best as you can, and uh, see how you do. All right, and uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. So, teachers, pause now. All right, that's your five minutes. So let's get out a um, different color pen or, or whatever you have and uh, let's correct it, see how you did. So we're gonna show the division using disks, relate your model to long division, and check your quotient by using multiplication and addition. So let's check it out. First one's been done, uh, this first one is here. I just did it, it hasn't been done for us. So let me zoom in real quick, there. Five divided by four. I did that in my head real quick and I know that I'd have one remainder one. Okay, so if I put the five into the ones place over here, and then I divide this section into four groups, I'm gonna get one with one remainder. And that's what we showed here. Four fits into five one time. One times four is four. Subtract, you get one, remainder one. So quotient is one, remainder is one. So one times four equals four, okay? Add the one, and you get five. Now down here, Okay, it's where we decompose the tens. I don't know if you remember that. Okay, so let's check it out. So let me bring this up so we got it right here at the top. And right there, it's good. Okay, so this is 56 divided by four. So what I'm gonna do here is take my five disks, I put it over here, and my six ones, I put it right here. Then I'm dividing it into four. So I made four sections here across my place values. Then just like above, I did one in each section, each gets 110, and there's 110 left over. So that's what I did here, four fits into five one time. See how one, each group has one? One times four is four, I subtract, I get one. There's my one remainder, one ten remainder. I had to decompose that ten down into ten tens, or ten ones. All right, that left me with 16 in this box. Just like here, we see 16. And then I did uh, split that four, four fits into 16 four times. So I split that 16 up four times and I got four in each box. That's where that four comes from. Four times four is 16, I subtract, I get zero. I check my work down here. 14 times four equals 56. All set. All right, uh, hopefully you did okay with this. Uh, teachers, please add anything to this that you wish. All right, hang tight, we'll be right back with our I can statement. 